Start by removing the crank handle, pressing the release lever, and pull straight out of the socket. Removing the handle avoids it from swinging around when trying to position the hooks on the string. Move the safety up into the fire position. Push release catch switch forward into the release position, allowing the two hooks to pull away from the crank. Rope and hooks are under tension. Run the crank rope around the string groove located on the stock under the safety and down to the mainframe and hook onto the string. Confirm both hooks are tight against the mainframe. If the hooks are jumping on top of the mainframe when cranking, you have not braced the rope through the string groove located under the safety. The hooks can damage the side of the mainframe if the rope is not positioned correctly. Damage caused by incorrect use of the caulking aid is not covered under warranty. Push the release catch switch into the push to cock position. Insert crank handle into the fail safe strap and secure strap onto your wrist. Install crank handle into the charger EXT handle socket. There will be an audible click when engaged confirming it's locked into position. Crank handle can be used on both right and left sides of the crank depending on requirements. Safety must be in the fire position to engage the string catch when cocking. Begin loading the crossbow by turning the handle in a clockwise direction until the string is caught by the string catch. Stop cranking when you hear an audible click. Visually inspect the string is locked into the string catch and past the ADF catch. If caught on the ADF catch, your crossbow will not fire. You may notice a click as the string passes the ADF catch. Continue to crank to the string catch. Once you have confirmed that the string catch has captured the crossbow string, immediately place the safety into the safe position by moving it downward. Apply a slight forward pressure on the crank handle. Push the release catch forward into the release position. Removing the handle avoids it from swinging around. Then remove both crank hooks from the crossbow string and hold them and allow the retraction spring to draw the rope back into the crank automatically. Store the crank hooks on the two front keeper posts. Do not shoot your crossbow with the hooks attached to the crossbow string as it could result in serious injury. Remove the Charger EXT crank by pulling the locking button out, located on the left side. Slide the Charger EXT out of the bracket.